So I've been slow on releasing videos lately. I just haven't been able to find the time to sit down and come up with ideas. So instead, I'm going to go work on something a bit easier and pick up with the Apathy Breakdown videos and talk about the next album, Insomnia. It's almost been a year since the album came out, so I think it's better to start now than later when I start to forget everything. The original purpose of these videos was to walk through my songwriting process and open a window into my mental writing state. For the demo, I kind of started off that way, but about halfway through I feel like I was rushing those videos and I didn't really do a good a, a job sticking to the premise. This time I'm going to make sure to do a more comprehensive job and go into the intricate details as opposed to just showing off the guitar parts and talking about the story. Now before I get into each track, I want to go over a bit of the history of the album, which actually goes all the way back to when I started writing music. I'm going to add the demo as well because I skipped over that the first time. Now Insomnia is a very important album because the opening track Drifting is one of the first songs that I ever started writing and actually finished. Prior to that I had a couple of ideas floating around that never really got anywhere. It was mostly generic riffs, bad lyrics, uh, but one day I had the idea to challenge myself and write a song using unconventional rhyming techniques and I ended up with the first line of the song Drifting. Standing at the edge of the world, I behold as I gaze into the sea. I had this vision of someone standing at the edge of a cliff looking down into the ocean and from there it was time to figure out a story to tell around it. So my whole life I've had trouble sleeping but when I started writing the album I had an especially tough time in a shitty living situation so I decided to tell a personal story about the struggle that I was going through. Each track focuses on its own idea, drifting and lucid dreaming, nightmare and nightmares, specifically dream loops breathe and sleep apnea, immobilized and sleep paralysis, and then finally the idea of insomnia itself. Now the album is called Insomnia in two words as opposed to one. It's fake Latin for in sleep. The reason is because most of the songs actually take place in dreams or dreamlike states and the idea is that the protagonist of the story has trouble staying asleep at night and has finally driven over the edge when the sun rises in the morning and he still hasn't had proper rest. So the album cover is a view from the bottom of the ocean with the glare of the sun above. It's a scene from the song Breathe, which is a transitional piece between the two halves of the album. Both the ocean and the sun play a heavy role in the imagery and setting of the album, and similarly the logo is inspired by waves, and I really do need to do a video on logos. As a matter of fact, that's going to be the next video before I actually start breaking down each song. The logo for this song is the standard apathy design. The A and the Y are ambigrams, the lowercase p and the A are opposites, and the T is this cross pattern. I'm not really sure what I was going for with the H here. I think I just drew an H because I couldn't figure out a good design. Now for some history. I wrote Drifting sometime in early 2012. Like I said earlier, I had written other songs before but they were bad and I threw everything out after I wrote the song. Even today, Drifting is the standard that I apply to everything else that I write. Rather than abusing generic and predictable rhymes like I did way back in the past, the song got me to think a little bit outside the box and really pay attention to how I was using my words. Now I use this requirement where every line has to either progress the story that I'm trying to tell in some way or expand on the details of the previous line using imagery and more complex poetic devices. No fillers, no rhyming for the sake of rhyming. And this outside of the box thing is it's something that I apply not just to individual songs but to albums as well. You know I never want to repeat myself when I do two albums. I always want to keep pushing the boundaries and keep discovering something new within myself. This is really important because prior to writing this song, I always saw myself as a guitarist and never thought that this was going to turn into a solo project. But as it turns out, I started really enjoying storytelling more than writing music itself. It took some time to actually get to this point. I knew what story I wanted to tell with Insomnia, but I had a hard time figuring out how I wanted to actually tell it. The only thing I was really good at during this time was playing guitar solos. So while I had started to write Drifting and the next song Nightmare in early 2012 I think, I made very little progress. I actually didn't start listening to Black Metal yet, uh, I hate to admit it, but it wasn't until later that same year, it would have been fall of 2012, that I listened to Emperor's Anthems to the Welcome at Dusk and finally really understood what Black Metal was all about. 
Now, for the curious, the reason that album got me hooked in the first place was because uh, the opening track, Alsvater, The Oath, uh, I found it was really interesting, if I remember how to play it correctly. This thing starts off with this, uh, F, this add nine chord. Something along the lines of that. And then when the first actual song, Yen Trans Imperium's main riff hits, I, that's when I got hooked. With black metal, I had finally discovered what my songwriting was missing, and that was the music. The riffs that I had written before were, you know, there's these really bad generic chord progressions. Uh, they were good for solos, but what I really needed was something to serve as a backdrop. And it was the homogenous texture of black metal, that wall of sound, that was some, what allowed me to tell my stories the way that I wanted to. So very suddenly, I was inspired to start writing again, but I did not immediately pick up with Insomnia. Instead, I started working with new ideas, the first of which was the song Apathy, and that ended up becoming the name of the project as well. At the same time, I wrote the song Shadow as well, and actually the current riff for Shadow was actually the original riff for Apathy. The next song I can recall is Obsidian Heart, which I didn't write until summer of 2013, so about a whole half year later. Uh, between that, it was probably a bunch of lesser ideas, maybe individual lines that I worked into other songs later. Um, I never really got the ball rolling until fall of 2013. During that semester, I took a music production class where I learned the basics of recording and mixing. For that class, I wrote the original guitar solo to Nightmare, when the song was actually still in the key of E. The other songs that I can place around this time are Starlit Path, which I did not finish in time for the demo, and interestingly enough, Serpent, which I set aside because it didn't fit with anything else that I was writing. When winter came around, I felt like I really needed to revisit Insomnia because that was really the only completed idea that I had, and I still wanted it to be my first album. At the time, I wanted to use that as a stepping stone that would lead into the full black metal demo, so I spent all of the winter break on just Insomnia, and I made pretty good progress on it. I finished drifting completely, got Nightmare about halfway done, and a good chunk of Immobilize. I also decided that I did not want to write the last song until I finished the rest of the album because I wanted to tie all of the ideas together in some way. So 2014 starts and it probably marks the toughest period of my life. Coincidentally, it's also my most creative and productive one, so I think back on it fondly even though it wasn't that good of a time because I was able to produce so much music including my favorite songs in the demo. Wanderer, Keeper, Visions, and Reflections all came about during this period and the music really reflects my mental state. I was horribly depressed. Anyway, I gradually recorded the demo from March up until the day it was released. That's the main reason for the inconsistent balance of the mix. I was using a completely different setup every time and my ears weren't good enough to fix the problems in production. Coincidentally, my mood was swinging really hard between feeling accomplished by releasing the album and just being down on everything else. As for how I got out, because some people might be interested in hearing about that, I started thinking about nihilism, which is something that tends to draw a lot of people in the same situation. And I definitely talked about this before, but the full story really needs a whole dedicated series that I just have to sit down and figure out. But I was looking into nihilism, didn't really understand it. I think I was just your typical negative, life has no meaning, Frederick Nietzsche worshipping wannabe. But when I actually paid attention to the stuff I was reading, something different clicked on for me. The book that I was reading at the time, I think it was Human All Too Human, which is a collection of passages that I took pieces from and used to build my own ideas. One of the basic ideas behind his philosophy is that humans are inherently flawed and we should be seeking to overcome our own humanity. That's the concept of the Ubermensch, which translates to the Overman. Rather than trying to become better humans, we should instead look to become better than human. And I really took this to heart because, again, I like to challenge myself with everything. In my old songwriting video, I said there's an infinite number of ways to tell a story, and my goal is to find the best possible combination of words. I handle every aspect of my project by myself because I have this vision for what I want the final product to be, and I don't think someone else can achieve the same thing. So when it came to the idea of the overman and self-improvement through conquering our own flaws, I was totally on board with that. So having finished the demo, I was supposed to work on insomnia, but I got sidetracked with all this philosophical thought. Instead, I got 
this rush of ideas and more or less wrote all of Rebirth in the month of October 2014. It felt like an overnight transition for me where I just got tired of being depressed so I stopped and I just picked myself up above it. It was very much like being born again through nihilism and starting all over with a completely new and neutral perspective on life instead of a negative one, and that's what the Rebirth album is all about. Of course, now I was a full album ahead of myself and I really needed to finish Insomnia, so winter of 2014 was dedicated to getting it done. I finished all the songs, Nightmare, Immobilized, uh, also Breathe, I did all the recording between December and January, and I also wrote the final track, Insomnia, as well. As for the final product, I do like the way it sounds, although there's still some inconsistent mixing. That was a huge problem on the demo. Uh, breathe is too loud, Immobilize is too soft, and I really overcompensate on the bass. I think it's too loud. The guitars are low across the board. Still, I really love the album. I'm very proud of how it turned out. So anyway, that's the bulk of the story behind the Insomnia album. Like the previous breakdown videos, I'll start with the guitar parts and then do the lyrics, and of course the first song will be Drifting, but before that, I'm going to do the logo video.